On the first reading, we have heard how Peter and how the apostles have preached to the people that you have rejected the stone like the builder. But this is also even more such a reality now. And I would like to lead you for to watch this video of the parody of Psalm 23. This is our reality. The TV is my shepherd, I shall not want. It makes me lie down on the sofa. It leads me away from the faith. It destroys my soul. It leads me into the paths of sex and violence for the sponsor's sake. Yeah, though I walk in the shadow of the Christian responsibility, there will be no interruption for the TV is with me. Its cable and its remote control, they comfort me. It prepares a commercial before me in the presence of my worldliness. It anoints my head with humanism and consumerism. My coveting runneth over. Surely laziness and ignorance shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of watching TV forever. This is, in fact, our reality. That's why in the second reading, we have heard at the first letter of John that we are indeed not what we are to be. That's why Jesus is presenting to us what a dreadful way to live, living in the way that leads to death. But there is another way to live, and that is following our Lord Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd. Stories of the Bible, the lost sheep. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. <laughs> Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ah, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. Hmm. So Jesus told them this story. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, hmm. what will he do? Who stay here? Won't he leave the 99 others and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he's found it, hey, he will joyfully carry it home. When he gets home, he will call together his friends and neighbors saying, Oh, everyone, come here, come here. Celebrate with me because I have found my lost sheep. In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who returns to God than over 99 others who haven't strayed away. Whoa, yeah! <laughs> this is not the beautiful way to live, a way that leads to life, peace, and true happiness. Jesus in the gospel today tells us that he came precisely so that we may live with that life of peace and happiness described in Psalm 23. That's why, my dear friends, on the second letter of John, he said that there is still some sheep who do not belong to this fold. And that's why 
think of those who are in the family who is not yet here. And Jesus said, I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. This also I must lead, and they will hear my voice too. The voice of the Good Shepherd, not the voice of our TV or our cell phone. I have come so that they may have life and have it to the full. Pope John Paul encouraged people many times to find life to the full by following Jesus, as he said, words like this, do not be afraid to open the doors to Christ. In Palestine, the shepherd, you know, brought the sheep into the sheepfold every night. The sheepfold, it is a circular stone wall with an opening or door where the sheep entered. Once the sheep were inside for the night, the shepherd slept in that opening or door all night. So the sheep could not get out without stepping over the shepherd's body, which means he would not get out at all during the night. Jesus is the gate, and anyone who enters through him will be safe and will go freely in and out. Be sure of finding pasture. Others steal and kill and destroy, but Jesus is our good shepherd. As we contemplate Jesus, the Good Shepherd, today, St. John Paul II declared the fourth Sunday of Easter a day of prayer for vocations. We pray that many may listen to the voice of Jesus as he calls, that they may enter the shepherd to him and be safe and live have life and leave it to the fullest.